Hey guys, Colet of Two here. Um, yes, I'm sorry that I've been uh posting videos for around a month now or so. It's mostly because I kind of ran out of hardware to review. But hey, there's always software review, so we'll just go for that then for the meantime. So firstly, here we have Windows 7 10 PC. So what is Windows 7 10 PC? Well, if anyone knows about Windows fundamentals for uh, yeah, Windows fundamentals for I think low end PCs, it is like the that but instead of XP, it is Windows Seven. So, what's the difference of this and like a server version of Windows Seven? Well, the difference of this is, it is only six hundred megabytes, which is fairly compact and the specs um it's very very light so we're just gonna start the virtual machine and here goes nothing hopefully no errors so here is everything i have allocated around two gigabytes of ram for this and we're just gonna expand it and maybe go into full screen mode so that everybody could see this so it says here windows 10 pc so obviously they already made something different about the installation english united states us yes and install now so they have changed the background on the installation from the normal ones like this wallpaper to our, the pos ones so there's the license accept the license so we go to the unallocated space and install windows so it's the same thing as installing windows 7 it just uh, expands the windows files install yeah the normal stuff it takes some time to find an installation of Windows 7 10 PC because number one, it's kind of a, well, let's say it's not that known. Maybe because mostly it doesn't make sense. I don't know what is the reason of this not being known. So yes, this is still supported by Microsoft like Windows 7 until around 2020. So, finally, expanding window files is finally done. It did take a while, but it's not that long. It's now installing its features, and hopefully we could see it restart in a while. So we just need to wait for this to be done, and for basically the whole installation to be done. So maybe I could do a comparison of this and the Windows Server 2008 and the normal Windows 7 if, well, if we need to go through that extent. But I'll mostly be making a comparison between this and Windows Server 2008 or the embedded version of Windows 7 if there is. Okay, so we're finally done with the installation and we're just gonna restart now and here we go again and we should see the starting windows which everybody's familiar about and here we have the very very classic and very memorable boot screen and the logo of windows haven't seen the setup is yep and here we are again it's now setting up services and it has changed for the second time but now with better resolution even though if it didn't it doesn't fit all of this yet and with a changed background from the pos versions of windows so after waiting for a little while on the boot screen we finally go to this part where it's finally done so we just need to type in the username, which is control2, and password, no need for that. 
since we're not gonna use this too much anyways, ask me later. Um, just set it as normal, home network. And it should take a while, but not that long. So, yes, we could finally move the window now, but it's super jittery. But that shouldn't be a problem until we get to install the virtual box. Yes, drivers. So, we are back. Um, finally, we are in 1920 by 1080 And... Uh, we could just use the basic theme from there since there is arrow, but you would need to change the ver the VRAM to around 120 uh, no 256 megabytes of uh, VRAM. There is the other th themes, but they removed the audio for it, so there's only um, Windows Seven sounds um they don't work for some reason so it's okay if you don't get audio um start menu we have nothing much internet explorer as our web browser as always um nothing changed winver is showing yeah the thing is is the and uh, the pre-built music in here. Yep. There is the sample music folder, but they deleted all of the sample music from here. Videos, sample videos. They have no sample videos, no sample pictures. And yeah, so it's basically bare bones stock from here. All there is is, yeah, you only just have the essentials to get you started. Although this will just act like a normal Windows 7 installation, nothing to um to limit you. But uh there is yeah, it's just something to get you started. If we do control out delete and start task manager, we're gonna see it only uses a little bit of memory, around four hundred megabytes, with zero uh, around zero to ten CPU usage. But that isn't a problem. So if you wanted a Windows 7 PC with 2 gigabytes or less, then this installation of Windows should help you because it removes all of that bloatware and stuff and just gives you a complete stock installation of Windows 10 uh, and Windows 7, I mean. So, yeah, there isn't n that much differences between this one and windows 7 the normal installation although if you do control out delete it instead shows us the pos background instead of the normal harmony background and that's basically it if you want to complete the literally fast look of it you could change it to like this theme but uh, yeah, but that's it. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, you liked it. Um, sorry for the delay of videos. And I'll hope to see you again soon. Bye, guys.